I am Professor Rajendra Koranne from my YouTube channel Teach Easy. From this video, I am starting to upload MCQs of the subject design of structure. And the first video is for fundamentals of steel structure. So let us start. Question number one. The life period of steel commercial building is A. 10 years, B. 20 years, C. 50 years, D. 100 years. Generally, we are designing the building for 50 years. Hence, the correct answer of this is C. 50 years. Question number 2. Poisson's ratio for steel in plastic range is A. 0.25, B. 0.3, C. 0.4, D. 0.5. If you see the stress strain curve for mild steel you will find that in plastic range there is much more extension and value of mu is more for that okay and if you observe it carefully in plastic range the poisson's ratio is 0.4 hence the correct answer of this question is c.4 question number three Poisson's ratio for steel in elastic range is A.25, B.3, C.4, D.5. Again, this is this question on stress strain curve and in elastic range, value of Poisson's ratio is less than that in plastic range. The correct answer of this question is B.3. Question number 4. The structural advantage using steel as a structural material is A. Small weight to strength B. Speed of erection C. Speed of dismantling and D. Scrap value Here, option B, C and D are not subjected to structural effects. The only one which is the structural advantage is its small weight to strength and the correct answer is a small weight to strength question number five the naking of steel section during tensile test takes place a at yield stress b in strain hardening range c after reaching ultimate tensile stress and d at plastic yielding if you observe the stress strain curve carefully then uh, you will find that the Naking of steel section takes place after reaching its ultimate tensile stress. Therefore, the correct answer is C after reaching ultimate tensile stress. Question number six Weight of furniture is an example of A dead load, B live load, C environmental load, D dynamic load. As you can shift the furniture, its position can be shifted, its magnitude also can shift. So this is an example of live load. The correct answer is B live load. Question number 7. Lateral earth pressure from soil R. A dead load, B live load, C environmental load and D dynamic load. This is also an example of lie load because its magnitude as well as its position changes. It is not the dynamic load, but it is live load. Hence, the correct answer is B live load. Question number 8. Which of the following is not a limit state of strength? A. Fracture due to fatigue. B. Brittle fracture. C. Rupture of structure. And D. Vibration in structures now see the question carefully not a limit state of strength so a is limit state of strength b is also for strength c is also for strength but d is for serviceability hence it is not a limit state of strength hence the correct answer is d vibration in structures question number nine which of the following is a serviceability criteria? A. Stability against overturning. B. Sway stability. C. Fire resistance and D. Fatigue. Here you will see that A, B and D are criteria for strength. Only C is the criteria for serviceability. Hence the correct answer is C. Fire resistance. Question number 10. 
which of the following is not a serviceability criteria deflection ponding vibration and putting now here you will find that deflection ponding and vibration are serviceability criteria the only strength criteria is putting hence the answer is d fatigue question number 11 the partial factor of safety for materials governed by buckling is a 1 b 1.1 c 1.15 d 1.25 for buckling and for yield the partial factor of safety is 1.1 hence the correct answer is b 1.1 question number 12 the partial factor of safety for materials governed by ultimate stress is a 1.1 b 1 c 1.15 and d 1.25 for ultimate stress partial factor of safety is 1.25 hence the correct answer is d 1.25 question number 13 the partial factor of safety for loads when designing for fatigue is a 1 b 1.1 c 1.2 and d 1.5 now look here fatigue is induced in any material due to repetitive or cyclic type of loading now fatigue is always induced at the working loads okay therefore for working loads the factor of safety to be taken is generally one hence the correct answer of this question is a one question number 14 for checking the deflection of beams the partial safety factors for dead load and live load would be a 1 1 b 1 1.8 c 1 1.2 d 1 1.2 1.5 now whenever the beam deflects the deflection is taking place at working loads okay so here also it may be dead load or live load those are working loads so deflection is always checked for working loads and therefore the partial of safety will be definitely one and one hence the correct answer is a one one question number 15 for combination of dead load and earthquake load the partial safety factor for limit state of strength are respectively a 1.1 1, 1 b 1.2 1 c 1.2 1 1.2 and d 1.2 1.5 now if you see table number 3.1 of is 800 2007 for different combinations of loads the various partial factors of safety are given and for this particular combination you will find that the partial factors of safety are 1.2 and 1.2 hence the correct answer is c 1.2 and 1.2 thank you